What is up guys? Today we've got tool tips and today we're going to go over how to maintenance your ratchet or take it apart, regrease it, put it back together. Now the problem is there's all different kinds of brands and styles of ratchets that come apart in all different kinds of ways. So I'm going to go through some of these and show you how to get them apart and take care of them. Let's do it. People will change the oil in their car or in their lawnmower. But when it comes to changing the grease in their ratchet, it often becomes an overlooked task. Got all our different styles laid out here. This is a classic Craftsman style. This separate style here. This one, even different style. And there's the last one here, which you can control with the handle. I wanted to do this one to show you how hard it is now to turn. It's taking a lot of force. With the first style here, to get them off, you'll need ring pliers, which are these right here. If you have this style here, you'll need a six point screwdriver or ratchet to remove those bolts, which I have here. This is the smallest one I have and it's just one size too big to do this one. So unfortunately I can't do this one for you guys, but it's gonna work exactly the same as this one once those screws are off. This style here, a little more tricky. We'll go over that in a second, but you'll need a screwdriver and vice grips. And then we have the handle spinner here, which you will need an Allen head. And we'll get into that. All three of these work the same, so I'm just going to do this one here. All right, once you get that out, you can take a screwdriver, pop out the gear. Pull out this little tab. We've got all three disassembled. Watch out for the little bearing in the bottom of it to fall out. This style here is going to work the same way, but you're going to remove those bolts there, six point bolts, which again, sorry, I don't have them. Once you remove those, you can just pull this all out. Same as these. So I'll slide that up out of the way. So this guy here is a little bit more tricky. Let me see if I can get the camera to pick it up. It's got a ring around it. But the ring goes around and around and around like a keychain. So the best way to get this off is like so. I got a vice grip holding one side over here of that ring. Now I'm going to take the screwdriver where it starts. I'm going to push it off and try to pry it back and off. There you can see it started to come off. I'm gonna work the screwdriver around that and try to get it to pop all the way off. There we go. All right, and there's that one. Last but not least, the fancy guy, the one you can turn like this or you can turn like that. It's got two Allen heads right here take them off all right now inside the holes there's two uh, steel pins I'm gonna kind of try to knock them out got one of them out there there's another one in there you can see it's coming a little bit now both of them are now out now you can take this here wiggle the handle and the gear will come off slide off the top sheet Next step is to wash all this nasty grease that's on there now. The reason we want to get it all off and really clean is because it contains grime and sand and dirt and all that stuff. We want that out of there. So we got a degreaser, 50-50 mix with water. We're going to wash these and we're going to regrease them with a general purpose grease. A lot of people use wheel bearing grease. Uh, it's up to you, whatever you want. We've got it washed and degreased. Looks a lot better. And we're going to smother it with new grease, reassemble it, and we're good to go. Reassembly can be a little tricky. I'm going to walk you through it. It's no big deal. Down in the bottom of the ratchet here for the craftsman, you got a spring. That's going to go in that hole. 
on top of that the bearing and you're going to come in from the back side with a screwdriver to hold the bearing down while you reinsert the gear switch so let me walk you through that real quick go ahead and get a little pre-grease in there grease the spring grease the bearing you have a flat side and a part with the divot in it the part with the divot goes in first the flat side faces out spring down to the bottom take the ball bearing set it right on top of the spring the grease will help you to keep it there Let's see if I can do this to where the camera can see it. See on the bottom of this, it's got two little spots. That's going to hold lefty or righty or loosey or tighty against your ball bearing. So I'm going to come in from the back, hold the ball bearing down, slide that on top. There we go, we're seated. Now on the other side, we want to insert the switch. So we'll pull that down in there start to insert now to get it to seat in there i'm gonna have to pull this out just a hair more and it should seat switches back and forth the bearing selects the side I'm gonna pack it real tight with grease You get the outside and the inside of the socket itself. All the spindles. That's a lot of grease right there. All right, wiggle it in place. Seat it down nice and tight. Gonna put our more grease seat that squeeze the air out and put the lock ring back into place This one here is a lot easier to put back together, just grease. Clean it off and put the ring back on. There we go. This one is a bench top brand, by the way. Which had no grease in it at all when we started. We got our fancy guy here. Go ahead and put some grease all the way down the shaft because it spins inside the handle. Should make it a lot smoother. Make sure you get the grease head. Grease the gears really good. Slide that back in there. You'll feel it seat. Put the pins back in. Push them in with the Allen wrench. Now these you gotta kind of wiggle and push down to get them in there. When we started this thing was hard to turn. Now it just flies around. All right, we are done. I've got the one I didn't have the tool for. I couldn't get that greased up. Uh, a lot of times when you buy these, there's not a whole lot of grease in them anyway. Uh, so if you listen to it, all the parts are rattling around in there. There's no grease. When you use it, it's real clicky. Let's check out one we just got done with. Freshly packed. 
There's the Craftsman there. We can use it. it. Sounds beautiful. Nice and smooth. Smoothest ratchets in the game. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If there's anything I forgot or any questions you got, leave them in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like or leave a subscribe. Come back and see me. Got more coming. If you didn't like it, check out my channel down there. Click the channel. I got all kinds of people, hours and hours of fun, whatever you're looking for. You need your car fixed. You want tool tips. You want comedians. You want pranksters. They're all there. Check them out. Check them out. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Have a good day. Peace. <laughs>